Hi, this is Dr. Ash from London. I hope you guys are all fine. This is 30th May, Sunday, and uh, I thought I should come and talk about the most awaited topic, which is uh, how to be a surgeon in the United Kingdom and USA. I know this everyone, as soon as you become a graduate, especially in Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, we all want to be a surgeon, isn't it? Uh, because the way we see surgeons there, we think that, oh, that's, that's, the, the, that's my field. And we just jump into it and without knowing that what would be the outcome. So I thought I should share my experience and I'll give you the brief outline how you can be a surgeon in the UK, USA and what you have to compromise. So uh, let's start with the uh, first thing, which is suitability. Before you select this field, you have to ask yourself, are you the suitable person or not? Are you going to be a surgeon and will you be able to take that much of pressure or not? Are you ready for this long journey or not? What are your social commitments? What are your family commitments? What's your financial situation? What's your visa situation? There's a long list of things which you need to consider before actually you select this career. Do not make impulsive decision. We will make another video on the surgical career itself, how glamorous it is and what you get at the end of the become a surgeon. Now, <clears throat> uh, coming back to my topic straight away, that how you can be a surgeon in UK and USA. So <clears throat> there are basically two routes, isn't it? One route is a simple, straightforward route, which is a <clears throat> you do the pleb, you come to UK, you apply for the foundation program, <clears throat> you go to the core medical training, then you go for a surgical training, and this whole can take up to minimum of eight to 10 years. I've seen doctors who are still in the training more than 15 years, but they're still not surgeons in UK. So it's a very long lengthy career if you go to this way. Similarly, there is a very straightforward route for America as well. You do USMLEs, score high in, in you know, step one and step two, go for step two CS, you apply for the match, residency match, you may get the preliminary positions and then you apply for uh, training programs with the references, you get it. But I won't ask you to do the research on both of this route and see how many actually go through it. It's not really very easy. You need a lot of financial support. You need a lot of um, uh, you know, social support, visas before you can do to and fro traveling. So this is one route which is of course an ideal route, but it's not for everyone, isn't it? A person like you and me who is from the middle class, they cannot go and afford uh, sudden interviews calls, applying for 250 programs, uh, going to and fro for step to CS, and coming here pleb for pleb exam going. So it's, it's, it's not something which is everyone uh, is really uh, be able to do that. Now, uh, but what if someone really wants to be a surgeon? If you think that, no, I cannot be anything else. I really want to be a surgeon. I can't do anything else. This is not anything else. It's just nothing for me. So I have to be a surgeon. But you are from middle class. Your visas are not strong. Your financial backup is not strong. And uh, you cannot afford to go to and fro to America and come back interviews and go. So for you, what is the best and ideal route? I would say this is... There's no right and wrong answer, so please don't think that, you know, if Dr. Ash has said this is the only route, of course, you can always try your uh, fast route, but there can be very, this, that those routes are very risky. You may end up in losing all your monies, you may end up in frustration, and at the end of the day, you may not get that uh, surgical career. And then everyone knows that, oh, X, Y, Z, he wanted to be a surgeon, he wanted to do ESMLE, and now finally he's just doing an MO or RMO here. So it can be frustrating as well. So what I would say, you can plan nicely. If you really want to be a surgeon, you can make up a plan in a way that even if you do not get America, you will be able to do USA, uh, UK. Even if you do not get UK, you are still safe in Pakistan. That's what I did. So what I would suggest that to be a surgeon in UK, I would say you need to be a surgeon first in your own country. You you have to show some commitment. Now, how you can do that? You do the FCPS part one, you start the surgical training, 
and during that surgical training it's a long time you can easily do MRCS in three four years time so while you are doing the surgical training back home you are doing the FCPS that's a very structured training and it's a very comprehensive training and I like it as well the surgical hand in Pakistan you get you will hardly get that in United Kingdom so it's, it's a very very rich experience so you spend four years there uh, like I did immediately after my house job I did the FCPS and then I started my training so while I was there in two years time I did MRCS intermediate module so actually what I was trying to do is to secure myself in Pakistan and UK at least and then I started preparing for USMLE while I was in my surgical training and I, I scored very high at that time it used to call 98 99 so in three figure it used to be like 248 242 uh, so 98 99 percentile that was our kind of score uh, so we were quite happy that okay we've done FCPS uh, training two years we've done MRCS here and now we have done USMLE but what happened all of a sudden my visa got refused and this can happen to anyone uh, once your visa get refused your application your slum about traveling everything goes up and down but I was still happy I said okay if America didn't work I'm still safe in Pakistan I'm still towards UK so uh, because I did MRCS 1 and 2 I still was pending MRCS 3 I decided okay let's do PLEB so this route what I'm trying to say that if you want to be a surgeon you get a surgical training first in your country you do FCPS there so say for example if you graduated at the age of 23 24 you did four years or five years of surgical training back home you are a surgeon at the age of 28 or 29 I have seen many surgeons in Pakistan who are the surgeon at the age of 29 so if I would have continued my surgical training back home I would have surgeon by the age of 28 but what happens that because our target was uh, you know America UK we we decided to go that route why I'm saying that that if, if you are qualified surgeon in Pakistan now you get you got the highest degree FCPS after that there's nothing really left for you in Pakistan as far as the qualification is concerned you should not stay there in Pakistan India once you've got your basic you know the specialized qualification you should plan your exit now once you are qualified in Pakistan you don't become a consultant isn't it you have to work as a non trainee surgical registrar specialist regist you know, spe uh, senior registrar for few years and then you become a consultant after a long 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 years so what my uh, suggestion is that instead of working non-trainee in Pakistan or India or Bangladesh you should come and work as a non-trainee clinical fellow in U UK so based on your MRCS you can easily get the uh, non-training clinical fellow post which is the senior registrar post you can prove yourself here while you are in UK spend two three four years time sort out your visa sort out your passport sort out your um, you know FRCS you can do that while you're here you can get your FRCS application signed by your consultant back home which is very easy and now even if you don't have to complete training program in UK because you already didn't train you already done training back home so even if someone says why you're not applying for training you can say dude I've done my training back home I really don't need to do another training I will just polish my skills I will do FRCS and then you are sorted you can work lifelong as a staff grade senior specialist in UK for a very very long time no problem at all with FCPS MRCS and FRCS now will you be a consultant in UK at this stage no but while you are working in UK for three four years if you get your paperwork signed off and if you submit your application in the GMC as as a via Caesar route you can use the article 14 and you can go to the specialist register via that route without joining the official training program then you can be a consultant in UK but it can take a long time but it doesn't really matter even the training post will take you a long time anyway a few of my friends are doing surgical training for nearly 14 15 years now but they are still not consulted so it takes a long time anyway now say for example if you do not get to the Caesar route if you do not get article 14 signed off but you are still a British national 
you are a senior surgical staff grade specialty doctor in UK you are a consultant back home in Pakistan anyway with these qualifications with FCPS FRCS and MRCS you have Pakistan open you have UK open and you can always go back to UAE Saudi Arabia with a very senior position and you can earn up to 70 to 60 to 70 thousand rials Durham per month with these qualifications now if you want to be a surgeon in USA then you have to take UK as a transitional phase what you can do you did your FCPS back home you did MRCS and FCPS you came to UK at the age of 28 29 and while you are in the program or while you're in the non training post you start studying for USMLE you get enough time in UK because you don't work more than 48 hours anyway so you will be able to do uh, USMLEs and then you take a UK as a transitional phase and you apply for USMLE match with FRCS, MRCS and uh, strong clinical experience of UK, US in Pakistan uh, and the references from UK you will be able to get a uh, match in America again it's competitive but even if you don't get a match in America you can still do to and fro you can go for interviews you can come back because you're earning a good money in the UK you won't be bankrupt you won't be frustrated so you need to just plan your journey this way that you know uh, while you are in Pakistan make sure that you do FCPS part 1 intermediate module to MRCS complete your training do not stay in Pakistan come to uh, UK take it as a transitional phase while you are here get a financial strong get a USMLE done and you can go to U USA say for example if you fail or if you don't want to go to USA the UK can still be a very very strong hub for you you can be in fellow Royal College of Surgeon and you can do to and fro to Pakistan in uh, UK or you can get exit to uh, Middle East you can uh, be a very good surgeon in different uh, three different worlds uh, with Pakistan UK UAE Middle East and potentially America as well if you want that route so this is what I would say uh, the safest plan for a middle class doctors who do not have strong visas who do not have a strong financial background and who really really want to be a surgeon and they don't want to do anything else then for them this is the best route this is the ideal route and I suggest that think more about it and if you have any question you can write us on Pakistan Medical Career Counseling uh, you can also send us a message inbox and subscribe my YouTube channel and you can write a comment what else do you want to learn from us and is there any question I can answer I'll be more than happy thank you very much Dr. Ash from London